Hello, everyone, and thank you very much for today's webinar on how to use quantity breaks to set up and manage those sites that have a scaling pricing model. What I mean by that is the more you buy, the more you save, the more money off each product you get. So I'm going to walk through a process that we have for updating specific variants of different quantity breaks. So the way that we do this, and this is targeted for a very specific audience. So if you have questions and you don't understand after this video, please feel free to call Liquid Retailer um, for a consultation. Our number is 954-361-5284. Um, and if you're joining us today because you're part of one of Liquid's internal projects, then um, hopefully this video helps. So the way that we have a process set up for when we need to update products is I'm going to go over here to my email and see from Tony Masana, who's an e-commerce administrator for Liquid, that he's updated following products within the system. And what that means is Tony's added these products to the uh, back end of the site. So these are now in the site, but they don't have the quantity breaks assigned to them at this point. So in order to do that, I'm going to go back into the administration section and go to the app section. I'm going to click on quantity breaks. And that's going to load the back end of the Quantity Breaks app. Now, for the products for this specific customer, we have Quantity Break Groups set up. So I'm going to click on the Quantity Break Groups. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to make an edit to the Mail Meals. So I'm going to go to the Mail Meals and I'm going to click Edit. And what this is going to do is bring up the back end of the system that's all configured to do the quantity breaks for the mail meals that are on the site. And I'm going to make a change to that. So the first thing I need to do is I need to select new products that I'm going to apply the quantity breaks to the new products that Tony's just added to the site. I'll click Select Products. And now initially what this is going to bring up, and I'm going to let it load here for a second, is all of the products that already have the quantity breaks assigned to them. So I have to give this just a minute to load. There we go. So here's all the mail meals that have the quantity breaks assigned to them. But this isn't grouped the way that we need it to because we need it grouped by the type of product variant. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on this check mark so that it does not give me the results with all the variants grouped together. And I'm going to click search again. And this is going to give me the results of everything that's in the catalog. Um, and it'll have a check mark next to those that already have the quantity breaks assigned to them. And I'll have the opportunity to add those that don't. So you'll see here that um, there's a few new products. I'm going to go over to what Tony has. Tony said 95 chicken finger sub. So I'm going to go in here and I need to find the male version of the chicken finger sub. So I'm going to scroll down through here. 95, um, I think it'll be under C for chicken. So we'll go to page two. Chicken parm, and here we go, the chicken finger sub. So now I've got the chicken finger sub, there's the female and the male variant. So what I'm doing right now is I'm working on the male variant. So we know that we need this product added to the Quantity Breaks app. So I'm going to click Add. So there's the male chicken finger sub, and we have the traditional lasagna. So I'm thinking that's probably under T. So we're in P, page 6. S Meatball. Okay, let's try and see if it's under L for lasagna. Loaded potatoes, baked potato. Okay, let's see if it's under 95. Five, there it is. 95 traditional lasagna. So again, we're working on the male meal, so I'm going to leave the female alone and just add the male meal. So we've got the mail meal. Now I need Bubba Lou's barbecue chicken taco. So I'm going to go to the bees. 
Scroll down in the bees. Here's Bubble Lou's barbecue chicken taco. And again, the male version of this product. And we've got loaded baked potatoes. We saw those before when we were in the L's. Which for? Here they are, loaded, loaded baked potatoes. So again, the male version. Philly cheesesteak wrap. So we'll go find our way to the peas. Philly cheesesteak wrap, perfect. We got the male version again. And the Fiesta egg bowl. So let's go back here. find the Fiesta egg bowl and again the male version. So now we've checked through and we've added the male variant of each of the new products that Tony's added to the system. We've added those for inclusion into the quantity breaks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click continue with selected products. I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom and click save. And it said, gives me a note here that says Please note it'll take a few minutes for your changes to appear on the, on the website. Click OK, and it's going to bring me back to the quantity breaks group. And I'm going to see in here the mail meals were just updated here at, at 1649.44 military time, and the status is pending. So I'm going to let the mail meals work here for a minute, and I'm going to, that's going to go through a few different stages of updating. And I'm going to go over here to the female meals, and I'm going to click Edit. Now for the female meals, I'm going to go through just as a refresher, know that we need to select new products, the products Tony added to the product catalog to be included in the Quantity Breaks app. I'm going to select those products, clicking select products. Whoops, sometimes it does this, there's a little glitch where it kicks you out and it won't let me select the products to add to the Quantity Breaks. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get out of the app entirely that happens to you. And I'm going to go back into the Quantity Breaks app again. Let it reload. Go in here. Okay, good. Now after it was pending, now it's actually running the update for the male meals. Let's see if it'll let us update the female meals now. In. Select products. There we go. <clears throat> and now the female meals are loading <clears throat> just like the male meals did before. Perfect. So here we are, and remember that step we have to take where we ungroup the variants so we get everything the way that we want to see it. So I'm going to unclick that check mark and click search again, and now it'll give me them in a format that I need them, where each of the variants are separated, the male and female version. So again, go back to Tony's list. I have 95's chicken finger sub, so I'm going to go to the C's, and I'm going to go down to Find the chicken finger sub, which is maybe the page before. See chicken, chicken finger sub, great. So we don't want the male meal. Again, we need to use the female version. So I'm going to go over here, click add, because we're updating the female variants now. They have a separate quantity breaks associated with female products. So female is there. Lasagna. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to page one because it was 95's traditional lasagna. We're going to do the female version. Then Bubba Lou's barbecue chicken taco. So I'm going to page two and look in the B's. There's Bubba Lou's barbecue chicken taco. Again, the female version is what we need. Bubba Lou's and then we need loaded baked potato. So I'm going to go make my way to the L's. Here's the loaded baked potato for female. And then Philly cheesesteak wrap. So to the peas, Philly cheesesteak wrap, female version. Again, we know that. We'll see the female right there. 
and then the Fiesta Egg Bowl is the last one. So I'm going to go back, find the Fs. Fiesta Egg Bowl, and we need the female version of the Fiesta Egg Bowl, which is female. Click Add. The Fiesta Egg Bowl female. Continue with selected products, and then again, we have to save. And get the alert saying that this process is going to take a few minutes. Click OK. And I'm going to scroll down and we'll see that the male meals have finished being installed and the female meals are pending. So the female meals will be pending and then running and then it'll be installed. So we're going to let that work for a little while. And what we'll see once that's done is that when somebody orders anything in the product catalog, they'll be able to um, actually get discounts based on whichever product category those quantity breaks are applied to for each particular variant. So thanks for joining us here today. Um, this was about using the Quantity Breaks app when you're needing to edit specific variants of products and add them to certain Quantity Breaks groups. If you have any questions, again, um, regarding this video or you're trying to do anything on Shopify, um, our team is a proud team of Shopify experts. And again, this video is brought to you by Liquid Retailer please feel free to call us at 954-361-5284. Thanks so much. Have a great day.